All right, so here's how I went from college dropout to top 1% earner with my online businesses. Now, before we begin, my name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate, and if you're trying to build a lazy passive income online business from the comfort of your own home, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button right now. All right, guys, so over the last 12 months, here's one of my earning accounts. You can see I'm doing a good bit of money there. That's just one of them. I have several other six-figure ones as well. And what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through all the steps that I took from going from dropping out of college to where I'm at right now. Now, before we get into the actual tutorials on my computer here, what I want to first do is talk about the backstory of why I decided to drop out of college. All right, so at the time, I was already running my online web hosting company. So I was about 18 or 19 at this point. And I also decided to, since it was kind of congruent, to major in business in college. So I was taking the courses and I, and I noticed a few things. First thing I noticed is that what was being taught in school, in, at that school, the business courses were not only very like rigid and behind the, of what was really going on in modern business, they were, it was too informal and, too, and it was almost like they were putting steps in, in the way in order to create a business. So that was the one thing I noticed. And the second thing that I noticed is that I didn't really fit in too well uh, with the people that went there. I really wasn't into the whole like social status thing where everyone kind of jockeys for top position and like you try to find out where you sit in the hierarchy of your class i just that was not for me i just considered it a waste of energy quite frankly i'm not skilled at that that's not where i'm good at what i am good at i realize is actually doing the things that build real status in life you know wealth health happiness that's my skill so basically what i decided was Overall, I just was not skilled at that type of, of life. That just wasn't for me. So I went full force into my online businesses. I re kind of reworked the whole process. And what we're gonna do now is just walk you through the steps that I think that you should take based off of what worked for me. So here we go. We're gonna jump in right now and get into the lazy online money making good stuff. Here we go. All right, so you're watching this, you want to break the mold and reach that 1% earner's mark. So if that's you, what I'm gonna talk about is the core skill first that you need to master and the actual technical steps of what I did and how I got there. So first things first, this is what I messed up when I first started, and that is learning how to master your money, your personal finances and your business finances. These kind of go hand in hand, and if you get either one of these wrong, you can end up dead broke. I cannot tell you how many stories of people I personally know who made all this money as an entrepreneur and they blew it all, doing things like going to clubs, buying Lamborghinis if it's not used for marketing, doing things like popping bottles with models, as they say. So as an online business owner, you have to take complete control of your financial responsibilities. What that means is, is there's no magic man that you can fall back on and look for guidance or if things are going wrong, you can have them bail you out. There is no 3% match and create a 401k. That doesn't exist. All right, now, once you, you say to yourself, I am the only one that is going to, take, to get me where I need to be, there is no excuse that I can make, no person to fall back on, that's when you realize you have to start making sacrifices. Things like biannual vacations. I cannot tell you how many people like engineers and accountants blow all their money, they have nothing left over because they just have to go on their, their two vacations a year to the Bahamas. Until you start pulling in passive income that can pay for that type of stuff, you shouldn't even be thinking about it as an online business owner. Why? Because there is no fallback. All right, so with all that out of the way, here is the process that you have to master. This is what I did. All right, the first thing that I did was I, I, I decided I needed to learn to master search engine optimization. Why? Because that is the way humans interact with machines and how machines interact with humans. So that's when the human puts the data into the machine and how the machine takes that data and shows the, the viewer what they need to know. All right, so search engine optimization, where I'm going with this, is more than just building links and ranking your site on page one of Google. All right, for example, this blog right here. Obviously, that's the end goal, but when you learn how to interact with the machines and how to get it to do what you want to do, this is how you can leverage that skill to build audiences on different platforms like Instagram, Pinterest, all this use, all of these platforms use keywords some way or another to help find and deliver content to the right person. In addition to that, if you take a look at these keywords here, let's just go down, this is how to build a chicken coop. Look at this, you got YouTube at the top. You have YouTube videos also at the top, the very search result, not only that, but you could scroll this way and get more videos. So what does that mean? Hmm, maybe we should build a YouTube channel. So YouTube has definitely been one of my go-to properties. I love YouTube. 
I cannot say enough about it. Like I, I like it so much. I personally invest in Google because I just like, man, YouTube is just, it's been so great to me. And I see the, the leverage, the leverage that it creates. And it's going to be very hard for that to be replaced. Not only that, Google is embedded in every phone. So where I'm going with this is like, basically I'm just saying this out there. Anyone on YouTube listening, I freaking love YouTube. It's awesome. All right, guys. So what these properties give you the ability to do is to take your search engine optimization skill and not only get views, that's the first part of the process, get visitors and grabbing their attention, but it allows you to build an audience. All right, the audience is basically what gives you staying power. Now, you don't technically need to build an audience in order to make money. I've made plenty of money from YouTube, for example, with just a thousand or two subscribers. None of that even matter. Really, I was making most of my money just off the visitors. But you want to start nowadays focusing on building an audience. So whether that be YouTube, whether that be building a blog following, like uh, Modern Farmer's done here with this keyword, or it could be building an Instagram account, or it could be building a following, a following through Pinterest, all of these are basically ways that you can go in and, and interact where people hang out. So people are hanging out on YouTube. They're looking for YouTube for tutorials. They're going to Instagram. They might not, chicken coops might not be the best for their Instagram, but they're going to Pinterest. This is where people are hanging out and learning how to interact with the machines the right way and, and getting your content in front of the viewers looking for that content is the next step. So rewinding real quick. SEO on its own, this core skill of SEO by itself. That's like a forty to fifty thousand dollar a year income. If you learn how to do SEO, you could probably contract your services out with, with other people and get make about forty to fifty thousand a year. So it's not that great, but once you learn how to sell and use SEO to build your business, that's when we start making rich money. All right. So I know people that only do SEO and affiliate blogs and just sell. They're just focused on getting traffic and, and selling, making hundred thousands of dollars a month. So it's totally possible to go that way. And once you learn how to sell things happen. So how do you do that? Well, one of the easiest ways to learn how to sell is just figure out what it is that your audience wants. So if you have a, and that's one of the reasons why if you have a passion that people are very interested in spending money in, you go and work on that because you know the problems that you have, you know what people spend money on, and that gives you that extra insight that you need. So it's going to be easy for you to, to talk to your end audience. Now, in addition to that, it helps to learn certain buzzwords. I have videos on my channel somewhere. I'll put a link to that somewhere. Uh, here like buzzwords help get people like build their energy into the topic certain phrases tend to help increase sales the flow of the sales presentation all that's something that you hone over time mostly with practice but it helps to know the blueprints and i talk a lot about that in my various programs uh, for example tube tycoon that's something we talk about a lot all right so from there once you learn how to get the viewers from seo and building an audience and learning how to sell to take it to the next level that's when we start building our own products and our own services. Now, rewinding, you can get filthy rich for, based off of my experiences. Obviously, I can't promise you any specific results. Uh, people get filthy rich just off of SEO and salesmanship. It's possible. But this is how you get staying power and, and turn this into exponential money. And that is building your own business behind your audience and behind search engine optimization. All right, so here's how the flow goes. All right, people go to Google or YouTube, let's just say Google. YouTube, even Pinterest, Pinterest here, they watch your content. Your content obviously is going to be very good. This cannot be junk. It has to be good content, and there's a formula to this. It's not very hard to do once you know how to do it. So here's your YouTube. Let's just go with YouTube because I like that. I love YouTube. So you got YouTube video, and then from here, you get people into your business funnel or your affiliate funnel. So affiliate funnel is going to make you less money, and usually having your own products makes you more Either way, you can make plenty of money, but let's just go with creating your own products here. So uh, there's different ways to go about this. It could just be making a very cheap $7 offer. Some people go this route, and then you know stepping the customer up along the way with other value-added products, you can do that. So like a $7 offer into 47, that's a proven way to do it. Another way people do it, let's cancel this all out, is instead of going over that, they just go into something like a web class. You might have seen this, so WC for that. And from the web class, they will sell a high ticket item. So you could do this as an affiliate if you wanted, um, or you could sell like your own thousand dollar product. All right, so obviously for one thousand dollars, you're going to have to know a good bit about your topic. You're going to have to be up up there. If you want to reach that price point, you have to have some high level of expertise, but it's possible. All right, guys. So that's it in a nutshell how it all works. And just to be 100% clear here, it can take time to learn each one of these individual skills, like how to rank. Your YouTube video, for example, on Google, page one, that takes a little bit of skill. It doesn't happen by itself. 
a lot of these search results you see here, the reason that they're at the top is because they know what they're doing. They've mastered SEO. They've mastered content creation. All this takes skill. Now, with that said, guys, if you want to learn how to build online businesses the right way, on July 30th, that's a couple days from now, I'm releasing up to 50% off discount code on my Tube Tycoon training programs, which, tells, which teach you how to build a business behind YouTube, and my Deadbeat Super Affiliate which, system, which, which shows you how to build a business with blogging, similar to what you see here with this modern farmer guy. So there's many different ways to go about it. I'm personally focused on YouTube right now simply because I've made so much money in various niche markets. I mastered it to the point where it just doesn't make sense for me to do anything else. Now, obviously, I'm building things up on the side that complement that, but my main focus is YouTube, and that's basically where I think personally you should go if you're serious about building a business online. So that's that, guys. There is a four-day sale coming up on my programs. So we'll teach you exactly how to do this on July 30th to August 2nd. I'll be releasing that discount code. So keep an eye out for that. This is, in my opinion, where you want to go right now in 2018. If you want to start your online business super cheap without a lot of technical skills, you probably have everything you need right now. So with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate, and it's time for me to go back to sleep. I will see you guys later.